Thank you for joining me on my masterclass. Now today we're going to talk about how to leverage on the market to make money in 2023. Now, when I use the term market, I use it loosely. I'm not talking about the market in your country. It might be in Cambodia, Cameroon, Tanzania, it might be in the United Kingdom, United States, Nigeria, Ghana. I'm talking about the global market. Now, we know that there's interconnectivity in the global market and we know that almost all nations who are practicing Western style uh, democracy have now uh, put into place uh, money, uh, modern money theories and so uh, they are so interconnected that what happens in one country you know almost has um, a domino effect in all the countries even including quasi communist countries like China and fully communist countries like Russia you know so we're talking about the global market here now we're seeing that inflation has not been tamed in America inflation has not been tamed in America now here's the thing about America America is probably the largest market, not in terms of population, but in terms of purchasing power. People who have money and they have disposable income, a lot of those people are in America. And so their patterns tend to be early sign patterns in other countries. And we've seen that inflation in America, which used to be 8.2 prior to October, when the consumer price index came out for October, we saw that inflation had re reduced to 7.7. .7. However, that's, excuse me, that's not enough, you know, it's not enough. And so uh, Jerome Powell, the chairman of the uh, Federal Reserve Bank, I think it was just uh, two days ago that he said, look, that they are still going to increase interest rates to tame inflation. A lot of people say, why should they tame inflation? Because obviously inflation affects uh, hiring, so it reduces the hiring, and that means it's going to reduce job numbers, and then, you know, it also affects the economy. So why reduce inflation? Why not just allow the inflation to go on and then uh, people keep on making money? Uh, you have to understand, when inflation goes up, the top 1% are not really affected. The middle class are not really affected. It's the bottom, the bottom of the financial pyramid that are affected. And it gets to a level where these people are affected and then it leads to unrest. It leads to tension in the country and you can have you know, like uh, the country going into riots and there's going to be a disruption in the country. If you go back in time, I remember Winston Churchill said, the further back you can go in history, the further forward you can plan for the future. So if you go back in history, you see that what led to the French Revolution is just something like this. You know, the French uh, monarchy did not care about the people at the bottom of the pyramid. You know, and so very famously, uh, Marie Antoinette said, like, when they told her that the people cannot afford bread, she said, if they cannot aff afford bread, let them eat cake. So it's that kind of scenario that, um, that the Fed are trying to avoid. And so they are going to increase further interest rates. So interest rates right now, they are probably, up, I think they are about 375 so in terms of, uh, if you want to use their economic language, that's 375 basis points, 2.75. So they are looking to make it a round figure of about 400 basis points, which is going to be 4%. What's going to happen is going to slow down hiring. It's going to affect the Christmas economy. And likely it's going to, because uh, I mean, Christmas, there's a lot of shopping. There's a lot of shopping end of the year, December. And so, I mean, it's not something that the feds would like to do. But they have been forced to do it because they're not seeing inflation dropping by as much as they, they want it to drop. So that means paper assets. Paper assets are not going to be the best things for you to invest in. When I say paper assets, what am I talking about? I'm talking about shares. You know, so normally I typically counsel people to invest in the S&P 500. It's not financial advice, it's just my opinion. Invest in the S&P 500. But even the S&P 500 is not going to yield you a lot of money because of what's happening with the economy, what's happening with interest rates. You know, I mean, if you invest in, in the S&P 500, you know, basically, uh, according to a Deutsche Bank, and then Bank of America has corroborated it, you know, you're going to see zero, um, zero earnings per share in 2023. So it's not going to be a very good way for you to invest. And then if you want to also invest in, say, you want to invest in a REIT, a REIT is a real estate investment trust, it's going to be the same thing because that's, you know, um, it's also tied to how the shares, how, how the stock market is doing. So what you want to do with your money is that you want to invest in a gold ETF or you want to invest directly yourself in the real estate market. You don't want to invest in a real estate investment trust. You want to invest in a real estate market. So, for instance, now, you know, home prices are in um, 
Florida. If all over the United States they're going down, so you want to invest in uh, you want to invest in real estate, right? You want to invest in places like California and Florida. Those are two good areas to invest in because it, we, studies have shown that when real estate goes down in those two areas, they recover faster than other areas. So you want to invest in real estate now. If you are in a place like maybe Nigeria, Ghana, Cambodia, Thailand, you know, Nepal, outside the United States, and you're saying, okay, well, this doesn't apply to me, it does apply to you. It does apply to you because you're also going to want to, I mean, park your money somewhere. You don't want to put your money in the bank because if you put your money in the bank, guess what? You know, you, the bank is going to give you some interest, yes. But then whatever interest they're going to give you is not going to be as high as inflation rate. So your money is going to be, you're going to be losing money. So the same thing applies to you. Outside the United States, gold ETFs perform better than in the United States. So in a country like Nigeria, they've got one of the best gold ETFs in the world. In a, in a country like uh, Tanzania, they've got a very good gold ETF. India, Bangladesh, Cambodia, Thailand, Vietnam, they've got go good gold ETFs. However, if you want to invest in real estate, you want to be doing that in the United States, not really in, your, in, in, in those countries. Because the real estate in, uh, market in those countries, what happens is that because of inflation going up so high, it's going to affect the real estate um, uh, market in those countries. And so the real estate market in America is more secure because the, the, the American, not the American government, the Federal Reserve, they, they are independent of the American government, but they put in policies to rein in inflation. And you don't have to be a citizen or a resident to invest in the U.S. A real estate market. So that's, that's what I'm going to tell you right now. Leverage on the market by investing in a gold ETF outside the United States. And then if you have enough money, if you have something like maybe 100000 you want to invest in real estate in the United States. And then you're going to see the prices drop, drop, drop. I think they're going to drop until around March. And then by March, they're going to start picking up. And so when they start picking up, you watch the market, you know, and then between that time, you can put renters in your real estate and get rental income because what happens is that when, um, when real estate markets begin to crash, you, you, you have a lot more foreclosure. And when you have a lot more foreclosure, you have people who are going to be coming out of their homes and they're going to be needing rent to rent. And so rental income goes up. However, when you're watching the market after March and you're seeing that the market is recovering, you might want to think about um, selling those homes if you can get a decent margin of like maybe 25% in, um, increase. So you get your 25% out because it's very, very hard to predict what the market is going to do. I know, I know, this is a mouthful. But if you have questions arising from this, what I've told you, put them in the comment section. I'm going to, I'm going to do my best to respond to each and every category. But you got to remember, I do not have a WhatsApp for her a telegram channel or a gmail email address so you got to beware of spammers and scammers i do not charge for anything i do everything i do is free so these people they have fake profiles youtube profiles that they put my image on it and then they respond to you you think it's me and then you give them money and you're duped don't do that this one the market the apostle of prosperity saying god bless you but when all travels all around the world i hope you get inspired about what you see apostle of greatness reno is a master only one man against the old world in large fighting with the monsters poverty i can't stand that's why reno is a